Welcome to Classical Boomwhackers. We will explore three famous pieces by three famous composers, Beethoven, Mozart, and Grieg. Wait, what's a composer? A composer is a person who writes music. Composer number one to the stage is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mr. Mozart was born a long time ago in 1756 in Salzburg. He wrote over 600 pieces of music. When he was five years old, he composed his first piece of music and was considered a child prodigy. This means that he was really good at music during his early years. The famous melody we will play today by Mozart is the third movement of Ronda alla Turca. So now it's Boomwhacker time. Let's hop in our time machine to 1783 when Ronda alla Turca was composed. While running in place, play your Boomwhacker as your note comes flying across the screen. Ready, here we go! for the Ronda Alla Turca melody. Get your brain ready to play along. Keep the steady beat. Ready, here we go. to the stage is Ludwig von Beethoven. In 1770, Mr. Beethoven was born. He lived during the classical period and wrote pieces like Ode to Joy, a bunch of piano sonatas, and even the Fifth Symphony. Later in his life, he became deaf, which means he couldn't even hear the beautiful music he was composing. The famous melody we will play today is from Fur Elise. So now it's Boomwhacker time. For this melody, we will need notes A, B, C, D, and E. So students who have those notes will run in place and air grab the boomwhackers along the way. If you have the F note, you will switch your boomwhacker for the A note. If those notes are not available, then grab a percussion instrument that your teacher provides and keep a steady beat. Into the time machine to 1810. For Elise Melody. Get your brain ready to play along. One, two, ready, go! Composer to the stage is Edvard Grieg. Mr. Grieg was born in 1843 and is a well-known composer from the Romantic period of music. He grew up in Norway and his mother was his first piano teacher. His most famous melody we will play today is from the Pier Gint Suite. 
Pyrgin was originally a poem but turned into a stage play and Greek wrote the music. Let's gear up for In the Hall of the Mountain King. So now it's Boomwhacker time. For this melody, we will need notes A, C, D, D sharp, E, and G. So students who already have notes A, C, D, and E will run in place and air grab the Boomwhackers along the way. If you have the B note, put that note back in its place and grab the D sharp or G note. If those notes are not available, then grab a percussion instrument. Time to hop in our time machine to the year 1876. Here we go! King Melody. Get your brain ready to play along. One, two, ready, go! object to avoid. If you think the answer is true, then jump. If you think the answer is false, then duck. Here's question one. Mozart was called a child prodigy because he was a really great musician at an early age. Is it true or false? Question number two. Beethoven wrote a bunch of awesome music like Fur Elise and later in his life became deaf. Start running in place. Is it true or false? of music called In the Mall of the Clothing King. Is that true? 